One question students often have is how do I graph an equation? Graphing is an important skill and, it's, and one of the main things that's important to understand about it is that by understanding how to do it, you understand equations and their lines to make better. I'm purposely going to take an equation that's a little harder than what we normally deal with just to make a point on how to graph something. We are going to graph the equation x cubed that's x to the power 3, minus 3x three squared equals y. Okay, in order to do this, we need to find out what x and y values correspond to this line. This will not be a nice straight line, so we simply don't know which way it's going to go, what it's going to look like. So, we're going to plot our x values, our y values. Okay, if we plug negative 2 into here, negative 2 to the power of 3 gives us negative 8, negative 2 to the power of 2 gives us 4 times negative 3 gives us a negative 20. Likewise, I can plug negative 1 in here and get negative 4. If I plug 0 into here, I get 0. Now likewise, we can continue on with this, getting other values. And however many values you need really depends on your equation. You have to just simply have enough so that you can see what you're doing. I can get one more point in here. Let's see. If I plug 4 into here, I get 16 out. Now, I've already graphed this my, myself, so I know how many points will give us a good enough equation, a good enough line. In general, um, if you're not sure what, do, what to do, you graph a few more points in between just to make sure it's following the line you think it is. Okay, let's graph these points. 2, negative 20. Negative 2 over, 20 down. We're looking right here. Negative 1 over, 4 down. We're looking right here. 0, 0, right there. Negative 1, negative 2. 1 over, 2 down. Uh, 2 over, uh, 2, negative 4. 2 over, 4 down. Um, 3 over, 0 down. 4 over, 16 up. Okay. Now, if I were to do some points in between, we could fill this in slowly but surely. Like that's how a computer does. A computer runs through every tiny little number and works it out. Now, we don't need to do every single little point. We just need to do, need to do enough to get the general feel what the what it looks like. After I plot out these lines, the dots, you no. Know, like just as you were a child, do connect the dots. We're going to connect them up through here, down through here, and back up. And that's what it looks like. Uh, every we've gone through each of our points. The computer would make this look a little bit nicer than I would, but uh, that is what we're looking at. Now, obviously. Um, most of the time you'll be doing things less complicated than this. Maybe, maybe not. But what we used here, the method we used, find the xy points, plot them, works for any kind of equation. Any. I don't care what bizarro equation you're dealing with, that's how we do it. And so you can graph anything you ever need to using this method. Don't be afraid to get your hands just a little dirty. Plot out a couple numbers, draw them out, connect the dots. Anybody can do it, because anybody can connect the dots.